Hi, Morris, you're on the air. Oh, well, good morning, Patty. How are you today? Not too bad. Yourself? Welcome back from your holiday. Have a good holiday or what? I had a busy and decent holiday. Happy to be oh. back, though. Well, we had good weather anyway if you stayed in this land. I did. Well, I did a little business on the road, but I was here by and large. Yes, yeah. No, uh, I was listening to uh, Danny Dumeris on NTV News the other night, and uh, and he was talking about this new gas turbine, uh, Newfoundland Hydro, is is bringing in to install at Holyrood. Yep. Now, if Dumeris is wrong with with his accusations, because it's very serious accusations that there's, he's making. They're, they're straight from the Wall Street Journal. The government has also spoke to it as well. They're yep. aware of the uh, issues facing that particular company. And I was going to say, if Dumeris is, is, is wrong, we won't have any more worries about Dumeris because he'll spend the rest of his life up in Dorchester. But, but the big issue is if, if he's right, I mean, Dumeris is saying, you know, that somebody is, is just ripped us off on this deal about $40 million. Mm, well, I, is that the summary of the point he was trying to make? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, you know, this this with with the with the purchase price of that uh, of that uh, uh, unit, and uh, and what what is quoted in other uh, uh, electrical journals and that type of thing. There's a there's a bulk of money. I, the point I was going to say that that the Val Manis deal back in the fifties and the John C. Doyle. Is, I mean, these fellows are only going to be compared to school boy, uh, Sunday school boys compared to what's going on now. If if is what he's saying is correct, and he has to present that material to the public utilities board. Yep. I mean that that got to go to the public utilities, and uh, because I mean Newfoundland Hydro is not. I mean Nalcor is exempt from the public tendering and the and the transparency and the Auditor General, but Newfoundland Hydro is not. They're not exempt from the Auditor General, but they are outside the public tendering. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Absolutely, but hydro hydro is not. I mean, hydro is answerable to the public utilities board, and they, and they have to present their arguments uh, to to uh, to the PUB on exactly what they have done with regards to this uh, transaction. And and, and Dumeris is saying this is a is a very shady shady transaction. And whether or not he's right, I don't know. But I mean, it's, you know, I mean, this is out, this is out in the public right now. Uh, 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 Patty? Yeah, Hydro has responded to it. They have. They've acknowledged the story, and they've responded to it. Well, you wouldn't expect Hydro to say anything differently. I mean, they did make the deal, right? They made, they made the deal with this uh, pro-energy services down in, what, Memphis, right. Tennessee, Tennessee, somewhere, and and uh, and for, you know, $120 million, whatever the, the, the total package is. And and some people are saying, you know, there's probably about forty million dollars we're paying uh, uh, too much for that for that deal, and and the the the, the unit was sitting there idle in, in some storage shed for for five years. Uh, how come? I mean, we don't even this this was bought from a broker, not even from a manufacturer. <clears throat> I mean, you know. Yeah, but there's nothing inherently wrong with that. An awful lot of heavy equipment is purchased through brokers who actively work to try and link sellers with purchasers. I mean, yeah, that's in every industry. That, that's all right. And, and if you go down to Ford or, or GM, I mean, we know that you're buying your machine, a new machine, through a broker, which is the dealership, okay? But that dealer is also covered by the manufacturer's warranties. Yeah, but we don't know what the warranty status of this thing is. It's brand well, new. It might be six years old, but it's never been flicked down, so it's new unit. I assume it comes with all the warranties associated with new. But I, I don't coming, know. But It's yeah. coming through the broker. That apparently that the manufacturer is, you know, the, according to what they're saying, the manufacturer is not is not guaranteeing that machine as the manufacturer, and that's that's the point. You know, we, we could be, and then, of course, in addition to all that, how come? You know, here's, here's Pro Energy now that's being investigated by all of the uh, the, the legal agencies down in in, in the states, mm -hmm. and, and, and and it seems like we get involved. Whatever there is about Nalco or Newfoundland Hydro, we get involved with those shady companies. I mean, you take even even S and C Lavalin is is pretty shady at this particular time, uh, Patty, with regards to some of the dealings they have, they have done around the world. But now, with regards to Pro Energy, I mean that's deals and kick, kickbacks they've made down in Venezuela somewhere. So, so, but well, how come we got to get involved with that sort of a situation? 
Well, I mean, if, if we bought through a broker and if people suggest to me that it was the lowest bid uh, for the required equipment, then just because someone has done something wrong elsewhere doesn't mean we're getting screwed or we've committed some nefarious act. It just doesn't, right? I mean, you know, we try to make that loose association all the time. Some people are, and not necessarily you, some people are in the business of trying to uh, attack the reputation of Nalcor and insinuating that people are padding their own pockets to buy turbines and whatever el- the hell else they buy. So I don't know. I'd like to know more about it myself, but yeah. I'm not so quick to think that there's anything, uh, any skullduggery because there's going to be investigated by the SEC. No, and, and, but that's the point with regards to Nalcor, and it might be a perfectly run company, okay? It might, everything might, that they have done so far might be above board, but the suspicion... The suspicion is still there with regards to that company because nobody, the Auditor General is not allowed in there. And there's yes, no they are. There. Yes, the Auditor General is allowed in. He's allowed in, but if, when he reports, he can only report to the Premier's office and not to the public as such. Only, according to... I don't know that to be true either. Yeah, and that, but that is true. He only, you know, because... See, if, you know, this, this uh, Bill 29... Has nothing got, to do with Nalcor. Uh, abs- absolutely. No, it That's doesn't. right. Nothing to do with Nalcor. But when they set up Nalcor as, an in, uh, as, a, as a corporation, when they, when they incorporated it, I mean, all of these conditions were there that nobody was allowed to, to look at what they were doing. And that's why people do have those suspicions. Uh, and it, whereas... It's public. It's a public company. It's a, owned by the people of Newfoundland, and as a result, we should be able to know. Unless there's very something, very a very sensitive issue with regards to. But but when you're spending all this money, I think we have a right to know, uh, uh, Patty. Yeah, of and course we do. And that's why. That's why people are. I, I think that's why the Conservatives are so low in the poll right now is basically because that people don't trust what's going on in alcohol. It's not what's going on in the government, because all, all the checks and balances with the various departments, I think most of it is covered off by the Auditor General, and, and, and the people that's working with government in general, in, in the various departments, are very concerned of what's going on there, because they know they're going to be out of it. But we, when you set up another entity, a government-run entity, that is not, that they got no transparency, no reporting, no no. Well, that's not, that's not necessarily true either. They do have checks and balances, and they are subjected to the Auditor General, and they do report their, ex- their expenditures publicly. Look no further than the update we got on Costa of Muscrat Falls. People might not like the answers, but the fact is they provide the answers, and they're pretty good at providing information, too. And, but they're providing information on themselves. Yeah. They're well, auditing, I mean, they're auditing themselves with no independent, with no person, no independent agency to look at what's going on. And that's and that's what's causing... Don't you, Patty, don't you think that's what's causing the problem? Yeah, no, some of it might be grossly exaggerated, but it's certainly part of it. You know, it, it is. That's right. That's, 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 what, that's my uh, impression on that. But, but to, to get involved with, with, a, with a couple of companies that's, that's doing tremendous business, I mean, $120 million is not to be laughed at in this, in this, in this deal... And, and for us to probably be uh, losing uh, $40 million on, on a deal like this, uh, uh, but it's going to be interesting to see what comes out through the public utilities. And I'm glad, of course, you know, we're going to have the public, we're going to have the scrutiny, we're going to have the scrutiny and the disclosures, I think, through the public utilities on this particular deal. We'll see. I think if the Tories had any sense, they send the AG in and commit to public reporting, because that, if that's one of the issues that dogs them, then why not remove it by the independent office? Absolutely, and, and some of the, the, the one or the other of, of the three contestants for the for the premiership now or the leadership should come out and say it will be open house. We will 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 disclose what's happening with regards to Nelco. I think the public would be much feel much better. I appreciate your call this morning. You've had the last word, Morris. All the best. Thanks, Talk buddy. To you later. Bye-bye.